We're going to be taking a look at the Smart Engraving Toolpath. Now we have some pre-created vectors here for us over an engraving plate. So we just zoom in to look at the vectors we have created. They're all repeating patterns that we have. So this is repeating all the way around here to create something such as a paper embossing or for example a wallpaper embossing. So I'm going to select all of my vectors and then I'm going to open my Smart Engraving Toolpath. So in my Smart Engraving Toolpath, I'm going to put in my finish depth of 2mm. I should set my material up. I'm going to have that as 6mm thick. So in the 3D view, I can see the thickness of my material block, the depth I'm going to be cutting to. The next stage is to select my tools. So I'm going to select from my tool list a 6mm end mill tool. So this will do the majority of the area clearance. And here we have all of our settings down here, our speeds, feeds and step overs, as well as our strategies. And then I'm going to add or select another tool. So I'm going to choose a much smaller tool in this instance. So I'm going to work down to a 3mm end mill tool. Then finally I'm just going to select a 1.5mm end mill tool. And then leave them as they are for now. And come across and add an engraving tool. So the tool I'm likely to be using for this will be a flat conical tool. It's a flat bottom. And I'm going to choose a conical with a flat of a 20 degree angle of 0.6 of a millimetre. So I want that to do a lot of my area clearance for me. And then my final tools, I'm going to pick two more tools. So I'm going to use a 0.2 20 degree tool. And for this, I'm going to allow this to do corner sharpening. And then finally, the next tool I'm going to choose will be a 10 degree, so a much sharper angle on this tool. And then I'm going to use a 0.1 degree, 10 degree tool. And I'm going to use this toolpath. I'm going to do my corner sharpening and profile only. So I'm going to calculate this. And I'm going to call this toolpath my engraving. I'm going to select calculate now and let it calculate all of my vectors for me. So there goes my first tool, my 6mm end mill tool, my 3mm end mill tool, my 1.5mm tool, and then finally my last tool path, which will be doing just corner sharpening and profiling. So my last tool path just did the profiling and the corner sharpening there. So I'll close this down and just zoom in to take a look to see what's happened. So the corner sharpening we can see here is these flicks and then the profiling is it following it around. So if we come to the 3D view we can see this more clearly. If we go to our tool paths what we can actually do is just turn off certain tools. So I'll turn on first of all my small 0.125 conical tool. So we take a look we can see the corner sharpening here and the profiling of the tool. And the same with the 0.220 degree. Now if we simulate this toolpath to see what it looks like. Use the simulation control bar and press play. So here's the first tool. Next we have the 3mm end mill tool. The 1.5mm end mill tool. Then 
Now we move on to our engraving tools. If we just zoom in, we can see the point on the tool. So here we have our finished engraved plate using the Smart Engraving Toolpath within ArtCam.